Alexander K. Okay. Let me try a different opening. I'm giving away all my my secrets so far. What do people do here? D3 still? I don't know. I uh, played one of my, my better games as a, as a kid against Stolmatov with uh, with this line. Won a miniature. miniature. And Knight f6 is exactly what you're not supposed to do, because e4 is supposed to be pretty strong, but maybe he knows something I doesn't I, I don't. But really if one f five is your repertoire against uh, against knight f three then d three really should be on the top of your uh, of your list of moves you're um, um, you're prepared against. So but I have to admire the the bravado in which he uh, conduct with which he conducts this game. Okay, I guess that's sort of sensible. Do I have anything better? No, I guess I should just take change queens. Oh, wait a second! I was about to pre-move knight g5. Maybe knight e5 is also. Not too bad, whatever. So I'm thinking king e8, knight c3. Probably should prevent knight d5 by going c6. And then I guess bishop f4. And uh, I suppose now bishop f4, anyways. It feels like I'm a bit better. Unless again, knight c6. These guys really have no no respect. It's a good thing though. Shouldn't be scared of me. Um, let me see. Okay, knight d5. E5 is forced. Knight c7, king d7, knight a8. Ef castles, king c8. Knight f7. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna admit that bishop f4 was a poor move. And just play this position. Which I'm not too thrilled about. If he didn't have the right to castle here. I would say that position is absolutely equal, but no, I suppose I may have a slight pull, but, but not much. And I'm sorry, people, for the for the absolute lack of fireworks here. It's just a dull ending. Slightly better, but it's going to take a lot of work. Oh. Yeah, I could go bishop d4 followed by knight b5, but that is that sort of pawn hunting is not my style. So I might do it next, unless he plays king f7, obviously. Then I have to do something else. But what? Just protecting C2 in order to, to move my knight away from E4 at some point. But, no, yeah. he's doing all right. Protecting the the g5 square, which is very sensible.
trying to re reroute my, my knights. Now I want to go knight c to e4 and uh, and um, later knight d3. And if he goes knight, uh, bishop b4 now, I'm kind of hoping that knight d3 is not bad. With the idea of um, bishop c3 and then knight to e5. So he went for this option, which is very sensible, but now, now I'm a little bit better. Not much, though. Yeah, this guy is playing really well. I guess I can go rook e to d1. Just trying to to get my knight somewhere. He cannot go rook d8 because I I take and uh, I think knight d5 followed by. I'm not too unhappy to see this exchange. And a5. Rook b3, maybe? b6, then I have... Then I can move the rook again. I still don't have much. It's gonna be, be a long game still, folks. So we're hoping to tempt him to go to the to the rook ending. I feel like there there might have some chances. Yeah, so now I have to activate the rook. Yeah, he's playing well. He's not allowing rook c4, at least not immediately. Because then I, I would have had the chance to hint that at h4 later on. That's a pretty good move. It's going to see fine now. I suppose I should go c3. If knight b3, then I go h4. Might have some initiative. So he's going to run out of time, but it was a really tough game. And uh, what can I say? He played really well for, for his rating. That's, there's no doubt about that.